Hi, and thanks for joining me. I appreciate your time. The last couple of videos I did, we were talking about the collective consciousness uh, being the sum total of, of the consciousness of every human being on the planet, making up the collective. And this collective consciousness is shifting and changing depending on each person's um, influence on that collective consciousness depending where they are within themselves. If people are falling into more fear and worry and anxiety, then that pulls the collective consciousness down into a more denser um, vibration. Uh, if we are feeling kind of in a great space and happy and, and abundant and really healthy and enjoying life, then that impacts the collective consciousness in a positive way. So we're all part of that collective consciousness. So I mentioned that in a previous video. And the purpose of this is us as humanity and the planet ascending into a higher frequency of reality, into a 5D, if you like, reality experience. At the moment, in this dense um, world, it's a 3D reality where we're dealing with uh, the opposites, duality, fear and love, up and down, hot and cold, sweet and sour. And through that, we, we come to understand what we are through knowing what we are not. In other words, if we are light, we have to know what darkness is in order to understand that we are the light. That's how it is and that's the opportunity presented to us in this reality and this experience that which our soul has chosen. So our goal is to ascend into higher levels of consciousness and we want to do that as a collective, but each of us are on our own individual journey as we know, however, um, it's a collective uh, mission, it's a collective experience, and the Earth, in actual fact, is also making the shift into higher dimensions because the Earth has a soul um, just as we do, it's just in a different form. So it's all about um, releasing all that we are not, that we have taken on through our life, all the, the lower emotions that we've got trapped in our body, uh, to clear those so that we can continue to increase or raise our frequency back to, it's really back to who we already are. We've just cloaked and veiled the love and light that we are through our traumatic experiences. Everyone in life experiences trauma and pain um, from their past. Well, everything's from the past. But everybody has traumatic experiences and through that trauma, we tend to lock in those dense, lower emotions into our body, which ultimately over time cause havoc with our health. Yeah, I mean, I know eating healthy foods and exercising are all part of living a healthy life, but a big part of it is the, the emotional body that is um, trapped or has trapped in it a lot of anger and hate and, and guilt and uh, shame, uh, regret, there's many. And as we go through life and those emotions are, are locked in our system, over time they will create uh, dis-ease in our body and then we are dealing with uh, our health issues. So those trapped emotions in our body cause havoc over time. So. When we have that awareness, it's kind of our responsibility to um, take ownership of those trapped emotions when they show up. And we don't know they're always there until someone outside of ourselves can say something or do something that triggers that emotion in which we tend to, to react. I mean, anger is a great example. Um, we all have anger in us. People really don't make us angry. That anger is already in there from from past um, trauma or past experiences. And it lays there until someone says something or does something that triggers that anger. And then we tend to, you know, project it and blurt it all out over the person in the firing line. And before we know it, there's uh, arguments and fights and, and what have you, which is not the, the best way to deal with these emotions. It's not an easy concept as far as handling our emotions with awareness, but it's, it's a really healthy thing to practice and to understand that 
you know, if we get angry, if our anger is triggered or anything's triggered, that we pause, we take a moment, breathe and respond in a way that is not harmful to ourselves or to others. Uh, anger, well, let's focus on anger for a minute because that's a big one we all deal with. Anger is quite a powerful emotion, actually, and it's not one to be denied. You know, when anger shows up, we can't control it. Usually, that's why, if we can, um, to pause, take a breath, and to find a way to express it in a more healthy, healthy way. Um, sounds easier said than done, but if we know that we have we, we have an angry part within us, if we're carrying anger, we can do things to um, help ourselves clear that anger. For me, over over the past years, I've dealt with my anger through exercise. Uh, running, working out, finding ways of physicality to express and, and give that anger an outlet in a way that's not directed to anyone else or harmful to anyone else. Of course, in the past, before I understood all this, I did uh, throw my anger at others, um, but it doesn't usually end well, and uh, you find that it just creates more drama and stress in your life, which you don't need. So finding a way to deal with these emotions is really our responsibility and if we do that and we can clear it in a healthy, uh, safe manner, then everyone's going to be better off. But the main thing is that we're clearing these, these emotions from our full body system, particularly our emotional body, so that we can um, release that dense energy, that dense emotion, allowing space for more of the light uh, and love, loving energy to be present within us. So we create a void when we release these toxic energies and through that we are able to bring in more of the positive, light-filled, joyous energies and which changes our lives. It changes the way we are. So when we know this and understand this, it's our job to really look deep within and recognize the emotions that we have and we can all do that if we stop for a moment and really take stock you know how how much guilt do we carry I mean, guilt's very toxic that we all carry guilt at some level there's jealousy there's shame you know, things like resentment regret we all have these things but we we tend to harness them inside of us um, until something happens we're triggered and then that's how we release but unfortunately, there's other people who will find themselves on the end of, of our projection, which is not really taking responsibility and kind of putting blame onto others, which is, is not a healthy thing to do. So our, our responsibility here in helping the collective is to do our own inner work, look at the toxic emotions and find ways that we can clear them. And you can do it by choice, or if we don't choose to do it, we can, life will, will serve us up um, experiences and situations which will trigger those emotions for us to clear them um, that way. Uh, but unfortunately, when we do it without that awareness, we tend to just continue the cycle and continue to feel guilty and, and shame and what have you, hate, you know, that's a bad one. Hate. It's a bad word. Even to say it feels feels bad. So I eliminated hate from my vocabulary because it doesn't feel good and I, I don't want to carry hate. I don't want to harbour hate for anybody, anybody in the world. So if we carry hate towards another, actually that level of hate is inside of us, um, even possibly directed towards a level of ourselves. So everything that we have inside of us, all those trapped emotions are not about other people essentially. Yeah, we've had uh, experiences where we've suffered an abuse and what have you, but the energy, the, the emotions that become entrapped within us are then are our responsibility to understand and to then find a way to release them that's not directed at someone else. That's, that's the goal here. It's not easy to do on your own. Um, many people find, um, say therapists, it's not really therapy, but find ways, there's different workshops you can do to uh, assist you in, in clearing this, 
these emotions. I mean, I did a lot of work in my early days in environments, controlled environments, uh, to help me clear my confusion, my anger, my resentment, uh, my low self-esteem. I had to find ways to clear it from my system to help me move forward in my life. So I chose uh, different ways to do it. All you have to do is be willing and wanting to do what you can to help yourself to clear these energies and communicate with your soul, with the universe. Ask for the right people for help to, to come along to assist you in this clearing because it will change your life. It will change everything. It's going to increase your, your frequency into higher levels uh, of love and light as we release the lower frequencies. And that brings us into higher states of joy and peace and, and happiness and abundance and wellness. That's what we all want. But it's within our reach, but it's our responsibility. It's no one else. It's not the medical profession. It's, it's our responsibility. And we do have the capacity and the ability to heal ourselves through clearing our emotional baggage. It's completely up to us and what we choose. So thanks for joining me and uh, be aware of your emotions. I hope you understand what we're talking about here. Take responsibility, find support teams, find people around you that will support you and understand where you uh, can pinpoint a particular emotion. Just go one at a time. If you know you have anger issues, then you can actually get to the source of that anger from past, from the past and find a way to clear a lot of it out so that it doesn't uh, continue to keep you down or continue to show up in your life when you least expect it or you least want it, I suppose. So on that note, um, I hope that's been of help to you. We will continue this discussion um, as we look further into this journey of life. I mean, we're leading into this, this journey that we're all on. We're in it together. We're in it together. I think that's what we'll talk about next time. It's about the unity where the power lies in the collective when we're unified and we're together. But the system is actually masterful at dividing us and turning us on each other. And that's, that's what we've got to, to look at. And we have the power to change that if we, can choo if we choose to and if we can see what's going on around us and have a greater understanding to make a better choice. Okay, thanks uh, for your time and hopefully we'll see you next time. Cheers.